Hi Foundations and Business Analysis students and welcome to this Excel tutorial on the Chi-Square test. We use the Chi-Square test where we have a categorical variable and we want to compare whether there is a difference between the frequency of observations within each of those categories to some expected values. So let's jump into Excel and have a look at how this is done. So here I've got my real estate case study Excel file open. In this particular case, I'm going to compare a really simple variable to expected values. I have a variable here in column K, which is called the fireplace variable, which is basically just testing whether or not the house has a fireplace. So the first step in the chi-square test is to create a pivot table using my variable of interest. So as shown in an earlier video, I create a pivot table by clicking insert and pivot table that will highlight all the potential source data. Now, when in my pivot table, the variable I'm interested in here is fireplace. So I'm gonna drag fireplace down here as row labels. You can see that it can be either zero or one being no fireplace, or yes, there is a fireplace. And I'm also gonna drag fireplace into values. Being careful though, you can see down here, it's automatically generated that variable as a sum variable. So I wanna click in that and change it to a count variable just want to count the number of observations within each field. Click OK. So these are the number of actual observations for houses that do have a fireplace, 723, and don't have a fireplace, 477. With our chi-squared test, what we do is we compare that with some expected values. Let's imagine in this case that we're told that we expect that of my 1,200 houses in the sample, one third do not have a fireplace and two thirds do have a fireplace. So one third of 1200 is 400, we're expecting 400 houses do not have a fireplace and 800 houses do have a fireplace. So the chi-square test enables us to examine whether there is a statistical difference between the actual number of observations within each category and our expected number. So to perform the chi-squared test now, we just use the chi-test function. So I click equals here, and then I type in chi-test. Okay, so C-H-I-T-E-S-T. And in my chi-test function that I've got there, it asks me my actual range. My actual range is the actual observations, which is cell B4 and B5, comma, the expected values are in cells C4 and C5. So I highlight them, close my parentheses, press enter. The value that's reported, which in this case is 2.4139 times 10 to the minus six, this is our p-value. So it automatically calculates a p-value. Once again, from before, we know that to test for statistical significance, we compare our p-value to 0 0.05. This p-value is significantly less than 0.05. That means we reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis being there is no difference between actual and expected. We've rejected the null hypothesis. So in this case, there is a statistically significant difference between the actual and expected number of observations. Now just quickly, what I can show you is if we had have expected something slightly different and maybe we had have expected some values that are a little bit closer to the actual, that we might not have rejected that null hypothesis, so we might not have found a difference. So in this case, let's say that I had actually expected there to be 450 houses with no fireplace and 750 houses that do have a fireplace. What you can see now is that my actual and expected are much more similar to each other. And in this case, when I perform my chi-square test, the p-value is 0.107. So in this alternative calculation, the p-value is not less than 0.05. We cannot reject the null hypothesis, so we retain the null of no difference. So we have not proved there is a statistically significant difference in that case. So that's having a look at using the chi-square test in Excel for comparing one variable of categorical data to some expected values. Thanks for watching.